Hello again. I had a request uh, to do a video on how I mask off stamped images to create a scene, so I thought I'd do that real quick. It's pretty easy. Again, it's just being willing to fussy cut a bit. And I'm going to be using this little mummy from the Greeting Farm. He's from the Spooktacular set, which I don't know if they do the rubber stamps anymore, but I think they have them in Digi. I'm using Copic Express at Cardstock and Memento Ink. And so I'm just going to ink up my main character first. Anything you want to be in the foreground closest uh, to the viewer um, is going to actually be the first image that you stamp on there. So I'm just going to take him, kind of put him on our cardstock and give him a good pressure. Now, while you still have the stamp out, um, you don't even have to re-ink it really. Um, I use um, post-it notes and down where the adhesive is, I just stamp again. Okay, And then we're going to cut him out. And this is creating the mask that's going to protect him, the image when we go to kind of layer all of our other stamps that we're going to use to create the scene um, behind him so it'll give the appearance that he's standing in front of um, well like for this one that I'm going to do the houses that he's trick-or-treating at and the the tree that you'll see in a minute so just gonna give him a little cut and the reason why I use the post-it note is because you automatically have a little bit of uh, tack that is going to hold it on just enough uh, that it won't move around as you're trying to stamp over it. Um, but it's also not going to hurt the cardstock when you pull it away at the end. And the easier, the you know, the simpler the image the quicker and easier this technique is going to go if you have something really intricate to mask off your time is going to be spent in uh, fussy cutting it out but that's why I went with this cute little mummy he's pretty easy he'll make for a fun little trick or treat card last little bit of him down here and I realize you know when you're looking at the scene it might seem kind of counterintuitive that you're not putting you know the stuff that's farthest away down first but that's where the actual masking part comes in okay so now I've got him on stamped onto my cardstock I'm going to take my mask and I'm just going to lay it right over him, lining it up as best I can. Okay. Now I'm going to take my second stamp and I'm going to be using this tree. It's from an old October afternoon set. Um, let's see, which set is it? It is the Home Sweet Home set. And I am actually inking it up with um, the Rich Cocoa memento ink which is another uh, nice alternative to tuxedo black and it still works nicely with the Copic markers okay so I want the tree to kind of be behind him in in the distance a bit so you just kind of line it up to where you want it to fall you give it some good pressure okay now I'm gonna keep his mask on and because I'm going to continue the scene, I'm going to put the mask that I already cut out because it was a little bit more intricate. But you just repeat what I did with the mummy. You, you stamp the tree on a, a post-it note and cut it out. And then we're just going to lay it right over top that. Lining those branches up as best we can. 
This one's going to be a little trickier, but it should hold it in place fine for what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm going to go in. I'm going to give him the little um, street that he, the house is on the street that he's going to be trick-or-treating at. And I'm just going back to my tuxedo black and inking these up. And these are from that same um, October afternoon Home Sweet Home set. And now we just start stamping right over the masks that we put down. Got a couple houses here that we're going to put in. Okay. This will be back here. Nice pressure. I got another one. I'm going to ink up. And we're just lining these up. I think I'm going to add one more little house down there. On the end. Okay. And now before I take off the tree, um, up here I want to put some clouds in the sky. So I'm going to ink up this cloud, which is from another old October afternoon clear stamp set. This one is Weather Vane. And I'm just going to have it go back here. And then uh, uh, da, 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 da. Let's really quickly, we'll get one more time masking on here. Take that big house, find my sticky side, put it on here, and we'll cut this, and this is another. If you're only going to be doing a certain part of the image, um, you don't have to fussy cut the whole thing. So like this, I know I just need the roof cut out for that cloud to go back behind. Now we'll lay that on top here, and we'll take our cloud, and put it going back here. Finish it off with a third one going off back here. Okay, so now you just uh, pull away your masks and you start seeing how he now looks like he's in front of both the tree and the houses. The tree is in front of the houses and the clouds. And this house is in front of the clouds. So it's just, you know, masking off and and it's just step-by-step -step process and then you get the results at the end and you're ready to color up. Hope that helped. Thanks for watching.